that Bitcoin was not a security. Gary Gensler was under a lot of fire politically because of saying no, 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 no to everything. But like Bitcoin, I'm more predisposed towards the broader ecosystem itself because I think the whole of Web3 and crypto is a, is a much larger thing than just a store of value money component, which is an important part of that in itself. We thought the good news coming was going to be the ETF. Hello and welcome to Crypto Street, where we bring you the latest and most intriguing stories from the world of cryptocurrencies. In today's video, we'll be unraveling the secrets of Bitcoin's future. But before we jump into that, let's take a look at some recent developments in the cryptocurrency market. SEC Greenlights, Valkyrie Spot, Bitcoin ETF application for the US market, crypto turmoil, market slump, heavy liquidations, and unexpected gainers. Stock to flow analyst plan B predicts Bitcoin's price to reach $40K, $50K in about nine months. Scarce open market supply of top two gold tokens as concentration levels run high among top holders. Bitcoin mining activity surges amid high difficulty. Binance throws red card at Argentine Football Association. Terminating contract, Binance Blockchain Week brings the best of Web3 to Istanbul. The UK's FCA has issued further guidelines suggesting that non-compliant cryptocurrency memes and unauthorized finfluencers could potentially be considered criminal offenses. Coinbase's regulatory woes in US far from over, analysts opine. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong is poised for a private meeting with House Democrats this Wednesday to discuss a myriad of digital asset legislation concerns amid the company's ongoing lawsuit with the SEC. Ripple's legal win, a precursor to US regulatory clarity, Celsius bankrupt, and allocates $24 million for legal expenses. Crypto influencers, firms must add disclaimers to meme promos, FCA says. Bitcoin holds steady above $30,000 as selling pressure intensifies. Now let's begin our enlightening discussion with Raul Pal. I always had a decent probability that this was going to happen, but it, it dropped like a bomb today and XRP is up 75% in a day. But what it does is say it shows that the regulators are overreaching. Now, we don't have that around elsewhere in the world because most of the regulators elsewhere have been reasonably decent about crypto. But the US was the one that weren't. You know, Gensler was really attacking the space. So what that's done is unleashed so many of the larger old tokens that launch in similar ways to XRP that should not be d deemed as security. And that's going to make the, more, the space more investable. At the margin, it allows others to enter into the space. We saw XRP get relisted by Coinbase immediately. Okay, that's a big statement. It means that institutions will be more comfortable around it. That allows more people into the space. So people who might have been nervous of Solana or some of the others may look at this now and say, look, the probability of those being called a security is now becoming much smaller by the day. And therefore, the risk profile of owning these things is much lower. SEC initiates review of Valkyrie Spot Bitcoin ETF proposal. Let's go and discover this topic then back again to Raul Pal. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has initiated a formal review process for Valkyrie Spot Bitcoin Exchange Traded Fund ETF proposal. The proposal, filed in early July, aims to offer investors a cost-effective and convenient way to invest in Bitcoin while mitigating some of the risks associated with the cryptocurrency's volatility. Valkyrie is an established player in the ETF space and has previously attempted to list a leveraged Bitcoin futures ETF, which was blocked. However, the firm successfully launched a futures-based Bitcoin ETF in October 2021. The SEC's move to review Valkyrie's spot BTC ETF proposal follows its listing of BlackRock's similar proposal, indicating a growing interest in exploring spot cryptocurrency-based financial products. NASDAQ has also called for a rule change to permit the listing of Valkyrie's spot Bitcoin ETF. The proposed ETF would hold Bitcoin and issue baskets in exchange for deposits of the cryptocurrency. Public comments on Valkyrie's proposal will be solicited for a 21-day period, ending on August 7. Following the comment period, the SEC will conduct a review period of up to 45 days or potentially longer to reach a decision on the proposed rule change. Gary Gensler was under a lot of fire politically because of saying no, 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 no to everything. And he had said that Bitcoin was not a security. So therefore, it becomes really difficult not to allow or to appease 
the politicians by saying, look, I've passed the bloody Bitcoin ETF. At least I've done something. You know, I'm uncomfortable with Bitcoin. So my guess is he gave the nod to BlackRock and said, listen, I need to do something. We're going to do this. And they've obviously been having an open conversation with the SEC. The SEC had given the guidance as we will accept this if you do this. So they all did it. What was really amazing within that bit of hum, humble pie that the SEC is suing Coinbase while, while at the same time are going to approve them um, as, as a major part of the mechanism of the ETF. And it kind of shows the incongruity of this ridiculous situation they found themselves in. Then you add the XRP ruling and it makes it really hard for them to stop some of this stuff. So, you know, I think Genza probably comes under more political pressure because of what's just happened as well. It kind of fuels the politicians, the pro-crypto politicians were like, this is not sustainable. And Gensler's opinion appears to be wrong. What's happening in the crypto market? Let's take a quick look at those technical analysis. Bitcoin, BTC, narrowly avoided a drop below the 30,000 level on Monday as market sentiment remained uncertain following recent gains. BTC USD slipped to an intraday low of 30,045.23 earlier in today's session, which comes a day after peaking at 30,437.56. Some expected prices to drop this week after last week's rally pushed volumes deep into overbought territory. The Relative Strength Index, RSI, which reached a high of 66.00 last week, now sits at the 52.85 mark. This is marginally above a floor at 52.00, which seems to have been the last line of defense preventing BTC from falling under 30,000. Ethereum, ETH, also moved lower. However, traders were once again able to prevent price from dropping below the 1,900 level. Following a high of 1,942.03 during Sunday's session, ETH USD dropped to a bottom of 1,901.06 to start the week. This resulted in the world's second largest cryptocurrency falling lower for a fourth consecutive day. Since reaching a multi-month high at 2029, sellers and profit takers have moved to push prices lower. Similar to BTC, this was due to price strength being overbought, with a reading above the 70.00 mark. However, it now sits at 52.94. The next visible floor appears to be at 50.00, and should it reach this point, Ethereum will likely be trading below 1,900. That wraps up today's crypto news highlights. Stay tuned for more updates, insights, and analysis from the world of cryptocurrencies. Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content.